Hello and welcome to Mighty Success Blueprint. I'm really excited to have you today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can actually generate funding for your own business, right? So let's say you're getting started and you're looking towards, you know, doing some great stuff, but you know, the funds are a little bit low, right? So after this video, you will have clarity on how and where to go for funding, right? And it's not as hard as it sounds. It's very easy, but of course it needs you to know exactly what to do, right? So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe even right now. On this channel, I produce great content on how you can actually achieve in any area of your life, in life and in business. How can you get more route of your life, right? So it's not about being average, it's about doing things in a unique way and in an excellent way. So if you like such content and if you resonate, right, subscribe right now, right? And don't forget to click the notifications bell so you're aware when I drop a video, right? So very, very important. So let's talk funding, right? So funding can be a big, big issue when, you, when you're starting your business. And I've spoken to a lot of people and very many people haven't started because of funding. Heck, is it that serious that it stops people from starting, right? So at this point in time, at this point of creating this video, um, we are in the process, you know, within my business, within um, and me and my partners are in the process of uh, looking for funding, right? For one of the you know, the biggest ventures we have ever embarked on, right? So we decided that we get it funded, right? So most of our work, how we've started and how we've grown our businesses, we have, you know, worked, you know, uh, either with clients, right, to generate income on ongoing basis. And then we just keep investing. In other words, We've invested real money that we've worked for, right? Some I had to do at some point, I had to actually do a job, right? So in order to fund my business, while my colleagues worked, I worked at a job, at a day job, right? So, but if you don't want to go into all of that and you just want to shoot straight, then watch this video until the end, right? So you get very clear on what you can actually do. And of course, it all starts with your mindset, but... Before we go into the means and the ways in which you can actually generate funding, I would like to mention four things that are actually very, very important. That you must really, really get clear about. And if, if nobody talks about these, if they talk to you about funding, then they are sending you to hell, right? <laughs> Is that very, very simple, but very straightforward. And I'll tell you what, before you look for funding for your business, or for any venture. Think about these four things, right? And number one is think plan. And I'm going to explain them, so don't worry about anything, right? Think plan. And number two is think success, right? Number three is think relationship. Very, very important. Number four is think business. Now, these are very, very important. Think, first of all, plan think success, think relationship, and think business. Four things that will help you to navigate this and get it right. And the reason is because many times it's not whether you get funding or not. The reason is how do you behave, right? Either before and most importantly, after you get funding. It affects everything that you will you know, that will come out of your business, right? So whatever you do, number one, like I said, think, plan, right? Have a plan, have a solid plan. In fact, after you've put together a plan, whether it's a business plan, whatever you might want to call it. Now, some people might, you know, talk to you into things like, well, you don't need a business plan and this, you know, this kind of business you can do, you don't need a business plan. A business plan is not only necessary when you're borrowing money. It's actually very important because it's the plan for your business. It's how you're going to go. Now, if you go without planning, that's a deadly journey, right? Like somebody said, if you don't have direction, um, any road will take you where you're going, right? So anybody will come by and give you some ideas. And that's what you call flash, um, you know, flashy object syndrome. 
right? But it stems from not having a plan to follow, right? So think plan, that's very, very important. Any successful or any serious funder will help you if you have a solid plan, right? And point number two that I mentioned that you might think about is think success, right? So determine in your heart and in your mind that your business will work, your idea will work, whether you receive funding or not. So that's very, very important. I want you to do, once you determine that, you don't wait for anything. You're not stopped by anything. In other words, you get moving, you know, and whenever you have an idea, there is always a minimal level of entry. There is a low hanging fruit that you can actually get started with, right? So in almost any, I know that some of them, you know, some ideas are a little bit um, different, especially ideas that require, you know, things like a million dollars plus in, you know, in capital to get started. Uh, but for the others, you, you actually always have a point of entry. And it's very, very important that, you know, while thinking success, you determine in your mind, nothing will stop you, whether you get the funding or not. Now, uh, thinking about whether not to get funding, that's a different story because I'm not trying to pull you into being negative, right? But all I'm trying to say is um, determine that you're going to make it work, right? Whether you're funded or you're funded. Very, very important. So, and that tells you and that helps you to, to just get going, right? So it helps you to just get going, get started doing some things. When the funds come in, they will find you on the way, right? And very, very important, law of attraction, simple things that everybody talks about. Funds are usually, you know, people that are already moving get luckier. They are luckier. In other words, um, resources find them somehow. Somehow they're the lucky ones, right? Because they're already on the journey. Right, so you begin to attract funders if you move. Very, very important. And of course, number three, I said, think relationship. Very, very important. Remember, when you borrow money or whenever you raise funds from wherever you raise them, remember to be accountable. Remember to go back and say thank you, even if you're not going to pay the money back, right? Now, if you're going to pay the money back, remember relationship is everything. Um, be open, be honest when things go wrong and plan to communicate even when things go really south, when things go down the drain. Plan to keep in communication. That's why I say think relationship, very, very important. The reason, reason is uh, very many times many people get funding and, you know, once they get on the way, and things are working out, they forget. They, they forget whoever funded the business. And in other words, they try to think they don't need them anymore, right? But it won't be long before things begin to experience some form of turbulence, and you will now run back to the people where you got money from, right? Whether it's investors, you know, or you just went to the bank, right? So very, very important to think relationship. And of course, the last one is think business. Be professional, be formal. You know, whether you go to family or friends, forget about that type of relationship and now think business. You know, be formal, have a business plan, you know, have some rules written down, you know, and if you go for, you know, investors, then have a plan of how everything will work so that they don't toss you to and fro, right? So that's very, very important. So Having said that, let's go into the seven ways. Actually, there are six or seven. Well, we will see about that. How you can get funding, how you can get your business funded. They are very, very easy and they just need action. Everything needs action. So, right. So, number one, I'm going to talk about, first of all, these points in two different categories, right? So, uh, one of them is where you borrow. You borrow money. And the other is you work with investors, right? Now, when you borrow money, of course, you're going to pay back. So uh, there is a bit of an advantage to that because you eventually own the whole business, right? You retain all rights and you own the whole business. When you work with an investor, it's different because you're giving away part of your business for funding. Now, you don't have to pay back but remember that they, there is an amount of pressure that results from most of these investment processes. In fact, 
for most of them or for some of them, it will be to your advantage because they will push the heck out of you so you can do really well. So very, very important. So let's start with the points, you know, the places or the areas where you can actually borrow money. And that's point number one is from your bank. So it's very important to keep your finances in order. Uh, to be in good terms with your bank because you might need them, right? Whether you have credit ratings in your country or you, you know, you have other systems of verification where they check out whether you've been a good, you know, managing your debt really well. That, those, are, those are very, very important points. So uh, have a good relationship with your bank. That's very important. Or you can work with a family member. You know, you can join forces if you have a, let's say, bad history. You can work with a family member to uh, get yourself funded, get your business funded. So most banks on your high street will actually get you funds, right? If you have an account with them, they will. You know, those are big and small banks. And for some of them, you don't even need to have an account with them, right? The second point when it comes to borrowing is peer-to-peer -peer lending. Usually what happens in here um different people or different companies or dis different entities join together they put money together and they just want better returns right so they are ready to lend this money out you know usually at rates that are almost bank rates so now before we go ahead i have included right a document or an article where you can actually find every details about lending that I'm talking about today and including all links that you might want to uh, to check out in order to get yourself uh, funding or to get better understanding of what I'm talking about in this video. So let's go into the areas where you're actually working with an investor, right? So you don't borrow. And like I said, the advantage to this is you don't have to pay back. That's the advantage. But you're actually splitting your business, right? Part of your business, right? So very, very important. And point number one within these friends and family, they can be the greatest investors, um, you know, to start with because they're the easiest you can reach, right? So if you have a good relationship with your family, you can always gather them together, you know, including distant relatives and, you know, friends, you know, gather them together, probably on a formal table. Like I said, think business, right? So on a formal table, you can organize a dinner party where you actually uh, invite everybody and share your idea, right? And probably give them, you know, um, a formal, um, you know, concept of how everything is going to work and show them how they will profit, right? Whether you want them to, re, you know, to be part of your business, tell them, or you just want them to fund you. That's entirely up to you how you bring it up to them, right? But most people will be inspired uh, when, you know, you give them part of your business or you give them some form of shares within your business. So, so that's point number one if you're going to work with investors. The second way when working with investors is crowdfunding. Now, these are online platforms and I have included them in the document below. In the article, you can have a look at them. Uh, there are different crowdfunding platforms, right? So they are online and all you have to do is to have a cause, right? A cause that people can actually believe in. So for example, if it's um, something to do with uh, being vegan, right? You're introducing a product that is going to be used by people, right? And most vegans will rally behind you. So all you have to do is to structure yourself really well you know, uh, create a platform, you know, get a platform, create an account, introduce your idea, and hopefully you get funded, right? So, and one thing you have to remember is you might want to avoid, you know, I'm not saying avoid, but it's entirely up to you. You might want to avoid having too many investors, let's say having a hundred uh, people invest in your business, because these are hundred people that are actually going to be on your back. They are going to have different, you know, uh, levels of ownership in your business. So you might want to think it when it comes to how many people you would like to work with. That's very, very important, right? Point number three when it comes to investors or generating capital, you know, from investors is angel investors, right? So angel investors can actually help you. Um, and your investors are usually net worth, you know, high net worth individuals who actually have some money that they deliberately put together or put aside 
to fund different businesses. And there is so many networks where you can find angel investors. And some of them are included in the article that I've included in the description. You might want to check it out. Angel investors are usually an amazing source of funding, but you must remember that, you know, they are going to expect a larger piece of your business. And of course, they will give you a little bit of pressure, you know, when it comes to things working. But remember that most of these kind of things that they do will actually work for your benefit. In fact, they might give you better ideas when it comes to working your business. So you might benefit from such a partnership much better than anywhere else. But one thing you must also remember is some of them have their own interests, self-interest. So you must really, really navigate this carefully and look at the options very well before you decide where to go. The next idea when it comes to generating capital for your business is venture capital firms. So venture capital firms are usually um, uh, like, you know, angel investors, but they are usually on the high end. So for example, if you want more than a million dollars in startup, right? So that's where you go, right? So they are usually um, high net worth individuals, higher than uh, angel investors, right? In this case. So again, like I said, it's very, very important to look at, um, you know, the kind of arrangement before you go into uh, this kind of uh, process or before you take on this method because it's high net worth. But remember that also it's very competitive because they are giving you a lot of money, right? So they must trust your idea or you must prove that it's actually going to work. And the last way in which you can actually generate capital for your business is business grants. So now business grants are very interesting in a way because most of them that I've seen, you don't actually have to pay back, right? So usually um, governments, you know, issue grants. So you might want to check with your government website, you know, wherever you are, in whatever country you are, if you have any arrangements or any grants that are available, right? So usually they are to support, you know, um, businesses, startups, right? Because the governments also know that their income comes from taxes. So they are eager to fund startups. So that's very, very important. But point to note here is sometimes most um, grants fund different aspects of the business. They may not be able to fund the entire idea, right? The entire startup of the idea. Some will fund the premises and some will fund the tech, right, side of things. So leave me a comment in the description and let me know if you got funding before. What methods did you use? You know, leaving comments helps also other people to relate with what you're saying or where you got funding from and to see whether you, you know, you actually can help in a way, right? It's all about sharing, right? And if you know somebody who has started a business and needs such information, feel free to share with them or send them this video, right? It's all about sharing. Sharing is caring, right? So thank you very much. And I hope you picked some stuff from this video that will help you to push your venture forward. See you in the next video.